You are welcome to uh, MA Mathematics class. You are going to, I'm going to take you through how to solve questions, solving questions involving sets. When we talk about sets in mathematics, we are talking about any expression involving a radical sign. Either square root, square root, or cubic root, either square root, cubic root, or any other root, are all under sex. They are all under sex. So, we are going to look at this question. How to solve a question like this. So, in this case, you are being asked to evaluate root 7, square root of 7, bracket open, square root 3, square root of 7, plus 6 over square root of 7. In this case, we expand, the first step we need to do is to expand the brackets. So in expanding this bracket, we have root 7, multiply root 7 by this. Let me rewrite it. So this will give me 7 root 7 times this multiplying the, the coefficient, the number outside the radical sign at the back of the radical sign is 1 so in this multiplication we multiply the number outside here by this and the number in under the radical sign by the number inside the radical sign so that is to say if I have a root b Multiply by C root D. In this multiplication, will give me A times C and B times D. So this is how we will multiply this. So we have root. This will give us 3. But the, the number behind this, the 7, the root 7 is 0. So it's 1, sorry. 1. So 1 times 3 will give us 3. And we'll have 7 multiply by 7 plus we multiply it with 7 by 6 on root 7 root 7 this one we realize that 7 times 7 will give us 7 squared so we have 3 root 7 squared plus the root root 7 into itself 1. Root 7 here will give us 1. So we now have 6 plus 6. In that case, we we'll have root 7 squared. Root 7 squared. The square will go with the square root. We'll cancel the square root. Leaving us 3, 7 plus 6. 3 multiplied by 7, we have 21 plus 6. Our answer is 27. So in simplifying the question like this, we need to understand the principle of multiplying the radical sign. So this is the question that we will solve in this lesson. So let's prepare for the next lesson so that we will solve more questions under this. Thank you very much.